gonna be another patient spotlight video. So proud of this spunky, beautiful lady and have loved working with her. This was actually the first time me seeing her up on the prosthesis um, since we delivered it several months ago. Unfortunately, right when I was about to deliver, patient had a fall and had a typical plateau fracture. So we were waiting for that to heal and then a car accident happened and her residual limb collided with the dashboard. So the limb, it's healed, but still very sore. But she did do awesome today. Ooh, look, look at you, yep. girl. <laughs> Super She's been doing great putting the prosthesis on independently and you can hear that rapid click. If the clicks are that rapid, it's usually indicated that the socket is loose, especially if you're feeling pain in the bottom or at the bottom of your kneecap. Try putting a sock on to help take up some of that volume so it's a little bit more comfortable for you. For her though, when she was standing, she was feeling pain along the tibial crest, along her shin bone. So instead of just putting on a sock to just take up general global volume, I like to have pad sets on hand, and I've talked about this for transfemoral prosthetics, but I like to have a set on hand for below knee prosthetics, transtibial prosthetics as well. So that includes popliteal pad that goes on the back portion, basically that area uh, behind your knee, just a little bit below. And then also pre-tibial pads. Have one for the inside, the medial tibial flare, and that interosseous area, that space between your tibia here and your little fibula there. For her, we went ahead and added a pre-tibial pad, which helped improve the fit and comfort of the prosthesis. And what's really nice, our standard is to have a, this rigid carbon fiber frame with a flexible plastic piece inside. So this helps with volume management, also helps a little bit with comfort, and also makes it really nice when we are adding these pads to slide them just right in between the hard frame and the flexible inner. I am just so proud of her. She has had numerous things, personal and health-wise, that just one thing after another that just keeps coming, but she is not letting that stop her. She is continuing to make progress one little step at a time. And I just want to encourage you, wherever you are on your journey, that it is just that. It is your journey and to not compare to the journey of others. I know there can be days where it is challenging and just want to give up and just encourage you to just show yourself a little bit of love and patience and grace. Keep moving forward one day at a time. And on that, one question she did ask me is, is it normal to be so out of breath? Yes, <laughs> it takes exponentially more energy, more metabolic energy to walk with a prosthesis. It's kind of the equivalent of if you're hiking an altitude and you've never hiked an altitude or you're not used to that altitude, that yeah, you are gonna be breathing heavier. Your body is gonna to have to adjust. What that time frame looks like is gonna be different for everybody. And there's a lot of factors that impact that as well. Yes, it is normal and it is going to take more energy to walk with the prosthesis than you were used to before. Give yourself grace and patience through the journey. Hope her story can be encouraging to you and we'll keep following up with her and keep checking her progress. All right, you guys take care.